Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the big screen remake of the 1976 classic Carrie. Yes, the remake with the same name brought to us by director Kimberly Pierce this time around. She's the one that directed Stop Loss. Uh, she gives us the story, again, if you're not familiar with it, of Carrie White, a girl who has been abused at home emotionally and psychologically by her very crazy and very religious mother, but she's also abused at school, being picked on by the popular kids, being bullied, just because she's a freak or, or just weird, okay? But when she learns that she has telekinesis powers, she starts using these powers to turn the tables on those that who would abuse her. And after a certain event at the prom, she really unleashes on those who have caused her pain in the past. Let me tell you, folks, the remake I did, uh, I was entertained, okay? I did enjoy it, mostly for the performances of Julianne Moore and Chloe Grace Moretz. Julianne Moore plays Margaret White, Carrie's mother, and Julianne, uh, excuse me, Chloe Grace Moretz plays Carrie White, and she does this, I loved her Carrie White in this. She definitely was able to play the mousy role, but also the badass role that we know that Chloe can portray. So uh, the dual, you know, the dual personality angle there, uh, definitely Chloe does her best and puts her all into this role, and it comes across on screen. I loved the Carrie character, and her performance is very strong in here. Now, the also strong performance was of Julianne Moore as the crazy religious mother of Carrie. These two had some great chemistry together, and when they fought, you felt the history of abuse and tension between these two whenever they were on screen together. Some great chemistry, and I loved every one of their scenes, and in fact, their scenes helped carry me through this film and keep me interested, just because they were such great performances. Now, the rest of the cast uh, of this film are alright. The female characters, uh, all the female characters in Carrie, are definitely stronger than the male characters in a number of ways. It's a very female themed horror film as you can imagine uh, with the subject matter so I, I really liked that as well I liked how they kept that from the original where definitely kind of you know female themed and the guys are kind of the side note except for the popular guy who asked carry out but even him you know not too much there either uh, now, uh, the only thing that missed, I missed with this is this is a horror movie, but at not really any time was I scared or creeped out or really anything with this film. The original De Palma uh, directed film, man, he really brought the creepy and the atmosphere and really gave it this just eerie, uh, you know, feeling that you want out of a horror film. And in this one, while I did enjoy the performances and enjoyed kind of seeing some of the events on screen, it really was missing that creepy edge, uh, which was kind of a shame because that was one of the things that I really enjoyed about the original. So no real creepy edge there, though some entertaining performances. Uh, the upgraded special effects in here, you know, they've got new technology at their hands, so I loved what they did with the telekinesis stuff for the most part uh, with her levitating things and doling out her telekinesis uh, powers onto people. Really liked that as well and how they handled that. I just was missing the creepy and the eerie on this or the horror in general. Now it being a modern horror film, luckily there weren't any real jump scares and overuse of jump scares. There were pretty much no jump scares I think in this film, which is kind of sad as well because the original did have one jump scare in there that I really uh, gets me every single time I watch it. It involves a grave. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but just say it was missing from this film, which is kind of odd considering they were, it seemed like they were really trying to make a beat for beat remake of the original rather than taking the original film and doing something a little bit fresh with it, which I like to see out of remakes. I know I'm hard on remakes, but there are some hard remakes out there that I liked because they took the same story, but they gave it a little bit of a refresher modern twist. Like in, uh, you know, The Crazies. I really loved The Crazies remake. And and also the remake of The Night of the Living Dead from 1990. Both of those took the same story, but they gave some original twist to it, a little different angle to it, added something to it. And this one, the Carrie remake, did pretty much as the exact same film. So, if you haven't seen the original, you're probably going to enjoy it more than if you have seen the original. I had to give this two and a half stubs. Even though I was entertained by Julianne and Chloe Grace Moritz's uh, performances, the fact that this is pretty much beat for beat uh, from the original, minus the creepy and the scary part of it really uh kept me from giving it a higher rating. So if you are interested in see it, see it for a matinee price. You won't feel like you're out of money. And again, for the if you really are a fan of Chloe Grace Moretz, you'll probably enjoy this film as well. And that'll about do it for his here at the final cut. Until next time folks, keep that ticket stuff.